welcome to this class today we are going to balance this reaction this is sodium phosphate this is potassium hydroxide this is sodium hydroxide and this is potassium phosphate okay to balance this reaction at first we have to draw a table like this this is reactant side this is product side in the reactant side we have here sodium which is 3 then here we have phosphate PU4 which is 1 then we have potassium which is 1 then we have hydroxide which is 1 in the right hand side we have sodium 1 then we have OH that is hydroxide OH is a polyatomic ion right then we have potassium which is 3 then we have phosphate which is 1 right okay to balance this reaction means we have to balance the number of sodium phosphate potassium and hydroxide from both side of this reaction so look here sodium is 3 but here 1 so to balance the sodium what can you do i can multiply here by 3 that gives me 2 that gives me 3 the rule is that if you multiply by something that something must come before the sodium so you have to place here 3 as a coefficient so if you place here 3 the number of sodium will be 3 and the number of hydroxide will be also 3 okay so our sodium 3 3 is balanced our phosphate 1 1 so here potassium is 1 but potassium is 3 so to balance the potassium what can you do i can multiply here by 3 that gives me 3 this 3 must come before this potassium that is here so if you place here 3 the number of potassium is 3 the number of hydroxide is 3 so look sodium now look sodium 3 3 phosphate 1 1 then potassium 3 3 then hydroxide 3 3 so everything is balanced so you can say that this is the balanced reaction so thank you for being this video be well